Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play The Commission, Organized Crime Grand Strategy. It's a mouthful. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. Yes, it says version 1.0 in the bottom right-hand corner, I am well aware of that, but there may be a last-minute patch or two that might address some things, because it's not available to the public yet. And who knows, there might be a patch, and I'm hoping there is one. Because there's no tutorial at this point in time. There's a glossary which explains some things if you're willing to read, but it's fairly large. So what this game really needs is a tutorial, because I, off-camera, went ahead and played three or four games. I didn't complete them, mind you. I kept starting over because I kept messing up. I was like, okay, why am I not earning any money? Okay, why is this guy assigned here but not earning me anything? I had to basically do a lot of trial and error and a lot of restarting, and I think I've got some of it figured out. Not all of it, mind you, but some of it. And that's what I'm going to show you today, and then you can decide whether or not you want to pick it up for yourself. Here's a look at the main menu. Under options, screen resolution, effects, master volume, uh, BGM volume, and sound effects. I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. All right, so what is this game all about? Well, it reminds me of the old school gangsters games where you have... Uh, mobsters and uh, mob boss and you're trying to earn money by extorting and other things and you're also doing wars with other crime bosses. That's basically what this is. It's a turn-based game. So you're going to be assigning people to certain areas on the map, you're going to be performing certain actions, and yeah, you're going to be bribing, you're going to be earning money, you're going to be doing lots of different things. So let's go ahead and start the game. There's five different families that you can be. There's the Bagania family. Uh, I'm going to be butchering. I'm Italian. I'm still going to be butchering these names. Kalesi family, Danano family, Genio family, and the Roca family. And each one starts with a different bonus. I'm just going to choose the first one. Uh, this one is... Uh, increase profit by 5% for each racket perk unlocked. And we're going to put this on easy. On easy, it's a fair match with four AI opponents. That's another thing I'd like to see changed. It would be cool if I could actually customize how many opponents were on the map. Maybe a 1v1. That way I've got more room in the city to actually play around a bit. See what's what, because there is no tutorial, like I said, so a lot of this is experimentation. Uh, medium is tougher match where the AI gets a small head start. Hard is a challenging match where the AI gets a huge head start. All right. So, before we begin, let's take a look at the UI. On the very top is your money and the current time, the week, whatever. Uh, you can exit to the menu, you can save the game, there's load, and then there's your glossary. Highly, 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 highly recommend you peruse this a bit before you start experimenting. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of terms, UI, lore. Um, I mainly concerned myself with basic stuff and then some of the advanced stuff. But you can look through that at your leisure. On the right-hand side are some tabs to cycle through. The first tab is your family tree. Basically, there's groups of, well, there's different groups of people. There's the Don, which is like your higher up. He's the boss. He's, he's the man. He's the big cheese. He's the ragu and the ragu sauce. He's, he is everything. And then you've got Nick Borgania here. And these names will change every playthrough. But, uh, let me see what, I don't, I can never pronounce them. Capo Regimes? Is that right? Capo Regimes. Uh, basically, these guys are sort of like managers. They're assigned to areas like Rochester here, or Dryer Square, or East Cushman, or Fordham, or West Cushman. These guys are assigned to those areas. They oversee an area. Then you've got these guys, which are soldados, which think of them as like head soldiers or crew chiefs at McDonald's, something. It, it's like a step below manager, but they're like, they're the leader of the pack kind of thing. They're going to have these muscle or associates assigned to them. Uh, and, and, and basically you assign these guys, if you zoom in, you can see that there are a number of locations in each area. So basically you're going to assign Nick here, for example, to Rochester. And then under him... 
is Rolando Diamonds and Thomas Profasi, whatever. And you're going to sign, say, Rolando to Toad's Head and Thomas to River Pines. Okay? That's how that hierarchy works. And then this 20 out of 20, that's your, like, foot soldiers, you know, your muscle. Whenever you assign one of these... Uh, like Rolando or Thomas to one of these places, you can assign, you can designate how many of this muscle you want to send along with them. I don't know a good number. I'm still working that out. Strategy, forget it. I'm still getting the basics down. So what I'm going to do to start off, and again, this is turn base. So it's week one, next turn, week two, next turn, week three, so on. So I'm going to click on Rochester. And on the left-hand side, there's a little plus button. Assign a capo, I'm just going to say capo for short, to this borough. And that's either going to be Nick or Jerry, Gary, whatever his name is. I'm going to click that, and here's the drop down, Nick or Gary. So I'm going to go ahead and do Nick, fine. And each guy has certain stats, and this is where the strategy comes in. If you're a, a micromanager and you want to get the most out of your people, then read these and figure out what you want to do with these guys. I'm just going to assign Nick here because it's easy for me to do that. Uh... <laughs> And then I'm going to come down here to say dryer square, and I will assign Gary to that. Okay. Now, nothing else can happen right now because they're currently on their way there. I, if I try to assign someone to Toad's Head right now, it's going to say no one is available. There must be a capo in the corresponding borough first. We assigned him there, but he's not there yet. Okay. So, um... Before we move on to our next turn and assign these guys, we'll take a look at the rest of these buttons. Rackets. So rackets are various things that you can set up in these, like, River Pines or Toad's Head. Let's say I have someone in River Pines. Basically, you can buy casinos, distilleries. You Basically, you're, you're investing money into these various things. Gambling dens, gentleman club, hijacking insurance fraud, kidnapping, labor unions, loan shark. Each one has a different investment amount and a different profit margin. Some of them do special things, like some of them actually reduce heat from a location that you're in. What is heat? Well, heat is the police noticing that there's fishy things going on. Heat is a combination of what you're doing and what your opponents are doing. So if you've got three other opponents in the same area as you and you're all doing stuff, that heat is going to fly up really quick and people are going to start getting arrested. And it could be yours, it could be theirs. I haven't figured out yet the numbers and the, the percentage chance and all that stuff, but I just know that the more people that are in a location, the more opponents, the more capos, that are in an area with muscle doing things, the, the larger the heat gets. And you can see that on the left-hand side. I hovered my mouse over this heat area. And right now it's zero. Nothing's happening right now. And um, there's also like large neighborhoods, small neighborhoods. Some are average, some are rich, some are poor. Some don't do alcohol at all. So getting distilleries in that location is kind of stupid, you know, because they don't do alcohol. So there, there's certain things you want to watch out for. Um, certain... Rackets will increase your muscle count. So instead of 20 out of 20, you'll see that number going up. It'll say 20 out of 22, then 20 out of 24. Then you can assign those four extra people to some to, to one of your two capos that are in that area. Um, over here, territory. This is an overview of all the different territories. Um, Dryer Square, which again is here. And there's Rodham Hill here. There's Laster Row here. So basically, it's just an overview of all the different areas and their territories and all that jazz. And the wheel, this empty circle will fill up with different colors depending on what AI opponent and whether or not you're in it too. So if there's three different AI opponents in Shore Bay, there'll be three different colors on this occupation wheel. Next is legal. This will see who's been arrested, including the enemy, I believe. Politics, uh, this is where you can come to bribe the mayor, the police chief, the district attorney, judge. Um, and when you bribe them, the green bar goes up. And it looks like it, that basically earns you influence. And then you can spend that influence to do various things. There's like rig department, red tape, back channels, um, police chief, police raid, diversion. So there's different things that each one has. Um, again, I don't know 
the extent of what they do yet because no tutorial and I just got it today. So it's just, this is a game, if, if the game does not release with a tutorial, something that you can interact with, then prepare to trial and error a bit when you're first starting out like I'm doing. Unless you're, you know, a wicked genius, which is possible. The commission, I'm not 100% sure on this. However, they do meet every now and again and they enact policies. The commission reminds me of the Galactic Council from Galactic Civilizations where um, all of the head people will meet up and there will be votes on a certain decision. And depending on a person's... I guess, strength or political prowess, whatever. I don't know how that's calculated yet, but, but everyone will vote and then something will be decided. So this is sort of like a, 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 a Galactic Civilizations 2 ruling of sorts vote system. All right, so that's, that's that. Let's go ahead and hit next turn. And now our capos, Nick and Gary here, should be in Rochester and Dryer Square, respectively. So Nick should be here. Yep, okay, so it turns out Nick Boganya is here. I'm hovering over my green color. I'm green. But there's also this purple one, Marco Donano. That means there's another AI opponent with a capo here, probably about to assign some of these... Uh, wait, did I get that mixed up? No, I'm right. The Soldados. I, I, I get the capos and the Soldados confused. But, um... Yeah, the, the Capos are Nick and Gary, and then the Soldados are Rolando, Thomas, Vincent, and Pietro. Yeah, I might have misspoke earlier. I apologize. Um, anyway, so we've got River Pines, um, and I, well, I'm going to look at that real quick. River Pines. There's no one here right now. Heat, zero. It's rich in a medium neighborhood. I'm going to go ahead and assign um, Diamonds here. And I can assign some muscle. Maybe I'll do, uh, I'll do ten. Okay, and then toad's head, average, large neighborhood. This is medium. Uh, this is rich, small neighborhood. All right, we'll just toad's head is fine. And then we'll assign the other guy, Thomas. Profit from alcohol rackets decrease by twenty percent. All right, so we don't want alcohol we don't want him doing alcohol stuff because it, it, there's a penalty we'll sign the other 10 to him all right we're going to do the same thing with gary down here i'm going to hold and right click and, and drag this around theater district rich medium um we'll sign vincent profit from theft rackets increase oh, so theft might be a good idea um we'll make that 10 and four old square no. Poor, average. All right, we'll do this large one down here. And that's Pietro. Okay. Ten. Okay, so we've got all of these people assigned. Now, I don't know if we can actually do anything until they get there. So, basically, there's different tabs. Like, if I click on River Pines, on the left-hand side, there's different buttons. There's three of them. Click on the top one, that's what you see here. That's what I've been interacting with. Second button down is where you go to buy rackets. There's the casino. You can invest 120000 get 14000 every week. Um, price is steep, but benefits massively from investment. Um, I don't have enough funds for that. Distilleries. Um, I, okay, muscle. Okay, so I have to hit next turn first before I can do anything. All right, now the soldados have moved in. Okay, so... As you can see, the occupation pie chart sort of filled in a bit because I'm the only one there. If I click on this button, yep, 17 muscle is located here in River Pines, which I'm a little unsure about because I assigned 10. I don't know how 17 got there. Maybe there's something that... Let me click on this real quick. Who is here? That is Rolando. Um, muscle 17. Oh, okay, so muscle is the combined power of a soldado and their assign. Okay, all right. So mus the, the muscle count is just a power, not a number of people. Okay, good to know. Again, I'm still learning, folks. Bear with me. But anyway, I assigned Rolando here to River Pines, and now I can click on that, click on the second button down, and I can invest in something. Now, let me check Rolando's 
traits real quick. Covert, increase muscle by 5 when heat is below 50. Inconspicuous, decrease heat f from smuggling by 1. So I might want to do smuggling if I can afford it. So let's go back to River Pines and see if I can find smuggling. Smuggling, mugging, numbers, protection, robbery, speakeasies. Where's smuggling? Unless smuggling is a more general term and covers a lot of things. Well, it, might, it might do that. Um... Mm -hmm. Money laundering would sound like smuggling. Uh, utilize fronts to clean your cash. Low profit, but reduces heat instead of increasing it. Mugging, narcotics, jeez. Um, numbers. You know what? L let's go with, um, we'll put some gentleman clubs in there. Um, it'll cost me 50000 all of my money to do this. Okay, so I'm starting big with the Gentleman's Club in River Pines. No one else, like, River Pines is the only one I invested in. So Toad's Head, even though there's people assigned here, and even though there's assigned people in Theater District and Shore Bay, I have nothing invested there. So I'm not going to make any other money besides this Gentleman's Club in River Pines. Next turn. Okay, so Heat went up by plus four because of that investment. Notice I'm up to 9,156. Um, I am making how much from that gentleman's club? Weekly profit is 9,165. Rackets under entertainment category generate extra profit here. Ooh. Okay. It'd be cool if I could see what's considered entertainment, though. It doesn't really say that. Boosts recruitment. Yeah, it, see, it says it says rackets under the entertainment category generate extra profit. But when you hover your mouse over these things, it doesn't tell you what category it's in. Similar to that smuggling thing. How do I know what is considered smuggling and what is considered entertainment? It might be here somewhere. Like, let's go down to terms, maybe. Uh, recruitment. Yeah, I, it doesn't say. It might be here. I just don't know. All right, well, we'll just, again, I'm not here to min-max. I'm just here to show you the game, and you can decide whether or not you like it. Um, I can do, with 9,000 bucks, let's go to somewhere else. Um, I don't want to generate a whole bunch of heat in one place. All right, Toad's Head, we could do for 9,000. Protection. An offer of protection to the locals that they should accept or face punishment. Um, who is sitting here? That's... I think that's Thomas, right? Alright, he's the one with... He's the alcoholic. The enforcer increased muscle by five with no friendly investment in a neighborhood. Okay. Um, let's do protection. We're down to 1,000. Next turn. Again, earning money. We'll cycle through um, this now. Now, the rackets, some of these bars are starting to fill up. Like, here's Gentleman's Club. You can see how much you've invested so far, your weekly profit, lifetime profit, how many you have. And you can also, I think, invest further. It says increase profit from Gentleman's Club by 20%. So I think the more you invest in it, the better the traits that you get and the better it is. So I might want to focus just on Gentleman's Clubs for a while. Or something like that. So let me just next turn a few times here. Let's check my heat real quick before I move in. Okay, we're still good. All right, I'm getting 50,000. Okay, so we're up to 58,000 now. Let's go ahead and throw a... Um, we'll throw a gentleman's club in Toad's Head. Next turn. We're up to 24,000. The heat is at 16. We're at 20 here. Let's take a look at... Now, occupation-wise, we're the only ones there, so I think we're okay. We have nothing going on down here yet. You might want to do that. Hit next turn. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and open a gentleman's club here. Note that I'm investing a lot there. And one more turn. Shore Bay. Yep. Okay, so I've got a lot riding on those gentlemen clubs. So I've got 72,000 at the moment on the very top. Uh, heat seems to be fairly low. Um, at this point, can I invest in another gentleman's club? No, I can't. So in order for me to invest in more gentlemen's clubs, there's a way to promote these guys into, like, if you want, if you want to expand beyond, say, the, the original two areas that you picked, you would need another one of these capos. And you can promote these these soldados to capos if you want to. Um, I just haven't done so. All right, I'm thinking we need um, associates to increase our muscle power. So let's see if we can figure out a way to do that. Uh, extortion generates a lot of heat. Gambling den boosts recruitment. Discreet back rooms. That, sh that should mean that we won't generate a whole lot of heat. We'll see. Um, Toad's head will put gambling den there. Gambling den there. And a gambling den there. Cost is 12000 per. Base profit is 2500 per week. Um, let's next turn and see what heat looks like now. 16, still looking good. 36, now there's an issue. We, we want to be careful there. That's 38. So it looks like heat might be rising here a bit. I'm wondering why. It, it, it could be me. It's probably me. But notice now it says 1 out of 21. Now I can come in here, uh, click on this 17. No, click on this 17 up here, diamonds. And then I can hit adjust associates. And then I can add more people um 11 though i don't want to add 11. i wonder if it took away from that other guy all right well let's let's reassign this um this one let's do 11 and then how much does he have See, the UI is a bit confusing in this. And now it says 20. What's up with that? How did I get an additional 20 from that? Now it still says I have 9 left. Alright. We can... Let's do 11. And... In theory, 10 and 11 is 21. Uh, okay, now what? Racket investments in Toad's Head were destroyed due to lack of muscle. Yeah, see, this now it says 30 out of 21. I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> How can I have more people assigned than what I have? This is what I mean. The game is, st this is still a preview build, folks. So either I'm doing something wrong or the game is bugged in some way. But I, I, I don't understand that. 30. All right, so that means that we lose all of our stuff. We did. We lost all of our rackets that we invested in. Put a gentleman's club there. Now this says 37. That's weird. I wonder if this 10 out of 21, maybe I don't have an extra. Okay, let's just assign all of them here and see what happens. This is the part that's a little confusing to me still. Because it says I have 18 here, right? All right, 21. Hit next turn. Now it says 28. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't realize I'd have, unless that 37 and 28, that's the muscle count. 
All right, well, anyway. Let's just keep investing. Looks like we might have lost that again. All right, let's do the Gentleman's Club. It seems like I shouldn't be adjusting this number because every time I do, bad things happen. Not enough funds. Want our gambling den back. Commission standing. Okay, so... I think I'm green, so it says here I'm a mogul. So I guess I'm doing the best out of everybody. I don't know how, but I apparently I am. But you can see um, the different dawns and where they stand with what family. City occupation, rule break count. Um, commission policies. New commission policy increased profit by 30%. Profit focus, heat focus. We'll do profit focus. Okay. Um, let's add... Kidnapping generates lots of heat. Nah. Labor unions boosts recruitment immensely. Let's see how that looks. All right, commission vote results. Profit focus, six votes. Recruitment focus, four votes. So, so all of us voted on this, and it seemed like the profit focus won out. Profit focus and ceasefire were chosen. I don't know what ceasefire is, but okay. So it says here I've got three out of four, uh, three out of 24. I'm afraid to uh, to change any of this. I really am. Like I want to add these three to one of these two, but I'm almost afraid to do it at this point. How are we doing here? No, we still have these things. The heat on this is 57. Um, the heat over here is 44. Uh, what we could do, I think I saw something that reduces uh, 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 money laundering. There we go. Reduce heat that way. Let's see how that works out. Okay, it says it's still plus three. Now, I can suspend all rackets, and that will lower heat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It stops profit, though, too. 48, um, I'm fine there. 55 and 26. Okay, I'm going to suspend rackets here. And here, 26. I think we're fine to keep messing with this a bit. We've got a gentleman's club, gambling den, labor union. Um, what else do we want to do? Numbers. Uh, known as the Italian lottery. Oh, well, there we go. And speakeasies creates a safe haven, boosts recruitment. Sure. Okay, so down here, I mean, it says we've got, I'm guessing, 10 extra muscle that we can assign. Again, I'm still a little confused as to how that all works. But if I were to go to, like, I want to assign some of them here, but I also don't want to take things away either. Um, click that. Click on that, Adjust Associates. Twenty. Okay, now hit next turn. Okay, so now it says racket investments in theater district were destroyed. See, that's weird. I, I think what's going on here is that the computer is thinking, okay, I, I'm going to unassign the ten that you had here, and then now I'm going to assign twenty. Because I increased the count. But because that was unassigned, I had no muscle to, to... Like, just leave the muscle. I want you guys to leave the associates there and just add 10 more. I didn't ask you to walk away from your job. Like, okay, you 10 people? I'm going to be bringing 10 people to help you. So you go back home for a day or a week and then come back when we've got... No, that's stupid. The, I think that needs fixed. I think that's a bug that needs addressed. Um, maybe that's by design. I don't know, but it's stupid if it, it is by design. That 10 should just add to the additional 10 that's there, and I shouldn't lose anything. Because basically, at this point, I just have to just keep people there. I shouldn't, I shouldn't adjust anything. I should just try and get more of these uh, soldados, and then whatever extra people I end up getting through recruitment, just create a third group somehow. All right, anyway, let's, 
let's rebuild what we lost there. I'm constantly doing that. Um, gambling then, I think we had that. We had the Gentleman's Club. We had that. Um, we'll do some money laundering. Numbers. All right, next turn. How are we doing over here? No, heat is 78. All right, we're going to suspend all rackets here. Uh, suspend all rackets there. How are we doing up here? Eight. Oh, wow. We're in the negatives. Why is that? Um, okay, so we don't have a whole lot going on here. Um, we'll do... Oh, don't, can't afford the labor union. We'll do the Italian lottery and can't afford the speakeasy. What about Toad's head here? 66. Suspend all rackets. All right. Now notice the heat. There's a green number there. It's a negative. That means it's going back down. Negative 8, negative 4. So yeah, we're, we're slowly getting this addressed. Now we're in the negative. Okay. So we're going to have to actually start making money again because we're in the negative. Um... This one I'll risk. Resume all rackets. This one is 83. Now, I, I told you guys to stop. Why are you, what are you doing to me here? It says 83. I thought I stopped. I'm surprised that's still going up. All right, we're going to resume all rackets here. I wonder if you have to suspend. Oh, oh, look at this. There is now someone else in this area. I bet you that's what's causing it. We've got red there under the occupation and investment. So there may be... I've never had a conflict yet, but from my understanding, you're going to get conflicts with other mobs, bosses in this game, but I don't know the extent of it yet. Um... We can either move these guys somewhere else, but then we'd lose all of this. What we could do, I mean, you do have the option to sell all investments. Uh, it reimburses you for a fraction of the invested amount, but can be better than maintaining an unprofitable racket. I still think it's profitable. All right, let's resume. Um, we're at 100,000. That's good. 40 there, 40 there, 87. All right, suspend all rackets here. We've got a lot of things going on. We may want to consider bribing. Um, oh, there's someone in jail. Marco Racco was arrested based on testimony of Freddy Anatasio. Um, I don't think he's one of mine, no. You would see a little jail symbol here, if that were the case. Okay, um, what else can we be doing? Okay, here's that territory view. Now that more and more people, you know, mobs are getting involved, you can see that some of these wheels are filling up here. Lots of stuff going on. And here's me and River Pines and Toad's Head. Politics. Um, we can start bribing. Heat from violent rackets decreases by 2. Increase profit by 15% in poor neighborhoods. Vehicle checkpoints. Increase heat from smuggling by 1. Aim for the head. Increase sink chance by 20%. Um, blind justice. No effect on sentencing. What you can spend influence to do the trump card drops a legal case against a family member, releasing them on the next turn. So you, you can you can buy different influence and then turn that in for various things. And at this point, I mean that's all I really know. Um, promote associate to soldado. Um, sure. We could use another one. And you, same thing. Okay, so see, we've got 14 here, so I think we can assign those 14 to Tony here. What if we went into... Nick's up this way. All right, 
there's no one here. It's average, medium. This is average, large. Let's go with energy park on this. All right, so we're going to assign Tony. And he should, yep, 14. Okay, check. Next turn. And now he's here. We'll go ahead and start investing in various things. Let's go and do the Gentleman's Club. And... Speakeasies. Gambling dens. All right, that's good. And then down here, I mean, we've got Gian Giancarlo here, but um, we have no extra guys. We've got two. So maybe we should buy things that increase associate count. So maybe, let's see, not kidnapping. Labor unions is kind of expensive. Hmm. Yeah, speakeasies should do the trick. All right, and then Shore Bay, speakeasy. That heat, though. I'm going to suspend all rackets here for the time being. Okay, heat's going down. It becomes harder to do business in a, in a location where there's other people doing things because the heat skyrockets. Now, supposedly, according to the glossary, there are ways to order hits on, like, there's assassination, for example. Collecting info on the enemy family through interrogations lets you reveal enemy units. With enough interrogations, you can order a hit. The chance of a successful assassination increases as you collect more interrogations past the minimum amount. Interrogations are units of information. When a conflict ends with the last remaining soldado being killed, the victorious side will earn an interrogation. Having interrogations lets you view enemy traits, but their main purpose is to be spent on assassinations. Alright, so at some point there's going to be conflicts, and here's the conflicts here. Um, the muscle of the opposing families will battle. Fighting will continue until both sides decide to defend, or one side no longer has any muscle left. If the conflict ends by one side killing the last remaining enemy soldado, they'll earn an interrogation. Alright, so now we've got seven down there. How's our heat? Right, it's, it's dropping. So far, we're, we're staying out of jail. That's a good sign, right? Alright, let's uh, resume, I guess. I'm going to suspend for the time being. 59, I'll suspend for the time being. We're going to lose a little bit of money there, probably. Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and resume. Uh, minus 7, we'll need a few more of those. A few, few more of those, plus 12, I think that's okay. Um, Alright, there's 7. I'd like to get a bit more before I assign some to G and Carlo here. Um, with 96,000, let's see if we can't... What was it? Um, labor unions. I'll invest in that. There we go. Nine out of... Okay, see, so we're, we're increasing our associate count here. And pretty soon we'll assign Giancarlo here to some, some place. All right. Uh, Four Old Square has two peop two different bosses already there. I'm trying to pick a place that's empty. This place is empty. Average, large. I'll take it. Um, so I'm going to assign that to Giancarlo. Hands for short. And then I've got 11, so we'll just do that. Next turn. Okay, and then add my usual gentleman's club. Gambling den. Add a la labor union. Add more associates. Money laundering to help with heat. And numbers. There we go. 
I mean, we're, we're earning a, a decent bundle, I think. We're almost ready to have another one. Now, I think the number of camo... Oh, no, these are soldados. The number of soldados you can have depends on your Dawn's level. Power determines the number of soldado and capos that can be promoted. Progress toward the next level of power is accumulated each turn based on a number of factors. Uh, progress to the next level is... Okay, so I'm almost at level 5. I can have 3 max capos and 4 per... Yeah, I can have 4 soldados per. So I may want to possibly get another... Another one of these guys. The capos. Not exactly sure how to do that. You'd think I would hire it through the dawn, but... Alright, I'm sure it's here somewhere. I think I can promote one of these guys to a capo. I think that's how it works. Um, so, for example, let's say I do Nick here. And then promote associate to Soldado. Now, this guy... Promote, there we go, promote, okay. Now, do we really want to do that? I don't, I don't think I want to promote a new capo yet, because I'm fine with these two locations. I'm just trying to get as much out of this area as I can. But, it, like, if I, let's say that there's no activity over here, there is. Yellow and blue and yellow and blue all over that place. Lewis Gardens. So, if I want to come over to East Cushman, I can promote Anthony here to a new uh, capo. And then he can oversee this area, and then I would need to get a couple of these soldados to... One, to move into Lewis here. The pit has no one in it. Okay, Windsmere does. Purple's there. Or West Cushman, or Fordham. Alright, next turn. Let's take a look at our heat again. 37, that's okay. 94, I'm going to suspend all rackets for the time being. 8, okay, let's go ahead and resume all rackets. Oh, Rodham Hill, there's people here, purple. Uh, pines, resume. Suspend. 217,000, we're not doing too bad. Week 45, I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. And if you guys want to see the continuation of this, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.